Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Harsha Ali Khan. So now in this video, I'm explain, going to explain you about the short questions on computerized accounting. Last three, four videos I've completed on the meaning of the term computerized accounting, advantages and limitations of computerized accounting, the differences between manual accounting, computerized accounting, what is ERP, what is tally accounting package, its features, benefits, and short questions. So if you have not watched the earlier videos, I suggest you to go to the playlist of my channel, select the subject computerized accounting, watch the initial videos, then you can watch this video and understand in a better way. So before start discussing the short questions in this video, take a screenshot of this, uh, I mean board, so that you can be able to maintain the notes and can be confident in writing an examination. So now I'm going to start the first short question in this uh, video on computerized accounting. What are the mouse conventions? The last few examinations I have seen very frequently short questions will be asked like this. What are mouse conventions? What are keyboard conventions? And how to create a single ledger in Tally ERP and F12 configuration? So these four topics I'm going to cover up in this video. Watch the video till the end to get the complete command on the subject. Now, mouse conventions. Conventions means the rules, the principles, meaning. So, how to operate the mouse in accounting package? So, here the following are the mouse conventions which are used while dealing with accounting package. So, what are the uh, different, uh, I mean, conventions? The first convention, click. What is the meaning of the term click? Click means to click means to press the left button of the mouse. Every mouse will have two buttons, left button and right button. So click means to press the left button of the mouse. To press the left button of the mouse is called click. Then double click. Same, to double click means press the left side, left button of the two times and release it without moving the cursor from it. So keep the cursor, uh, cursor at a particular position and left, left button, left button of the mouse click two times without moving the cursor. Without moving the cursor, click the left button of the mouse twice. That is called double click. Then choose. The, to choose means place the cursor on the item and click the left button of the mouse. To choose means select the item. Select the item, place the cursor there and click the left button of the mouse that is called choose now select to select means place the cursor on the item place the cursor on the item and double click the left button of the mouse double click the left button of the mouse so select means choose the item where we want to select choose the item then press double two times two times the left button of the mouse that is called select Last one, press. To press means use the keys on the keyboard. Use the keys on the keyboard either singly or in combination with any other key. Just like control plus another key or alt plus another key. Like this we can make the combination of the key. That is called press. Press means pressing the key of the keyboard either singly or in combination with any other key. That is called press. So these are the sum of the conventions, mouse conventions. So what are mouse conventions? Click, double click, so choose, select or press. This was asked in previous examination, short question. So we have completed the mouse conventions, now keyboard conventions. What are the rules regarding keyboard? The following are the keyboard conventions used in Tally ERP 9. First F1, function key. First, F1, detailed or condensed. Sometimes we, we want the report in detail. Sometimes we want the report in condensed form. So whether we want to a detailed report or whether we want in condensed report, this selection we can do by pressing F1 key. So with the help of this key, we can add extra level of details to the report or condense the report. 
Then second one is F2. The F2 key is used for period. That means we have to select the period for which we want the report. We want the report. So we can modify the report duration by mentioning from two dates. From two dates we can mention here in order to get the report that is F2. Now F3 company. In case we have more than one company to be selected then this button allows to it to switch from one company to another. Multi companies, multiple companies can be created, can be accessed in tally package. So if you want to move from one company to another company or if you want to select a particular company, press the function key F3. So switch over to view the date of the new company that is current skill for F4 to F10 function key 4 to function key 10 all these keys are dependent on the report so different functions are there for these function keys from f4 to f10 depending on the report the functions which are carried out by these buttons are different for every report so the functions uh, the function of these f4 to f10 will differ from report to report for every report different functions are there for these keys from F4 to F10. So these are all the function keys or keyboard conventions. Keyboard conventions from F1 to F10. Now next topic in this video is regarding how to create single ledger accounts in Tally ERP. Single ledger account in Tally ERP. So very frequently theory question is asked regarding this how to create single ledger in tally ERP. So this discussion is very important. Ledger creation is based on the selection of features. How to create the ledger depend on the selection on the selection that is uh, uh, selection of features under F11 and F12. So F11 is the features of the company and F12 is the configuration of the company. Features of the company is specified F11 and configuration of the company F12. So on this depend how to create the ledger account. So by default there exist two ledger accounts in tally ERP9 such as cash in hand and profit and loss account. So to, by default two accounts are specified cash in hand profit and loss account. The user is supposed to create all remaining accounts under these heads where there is no limitation for creating the ledger accounts. Any number of ledger accounts the user can create under the specific head. There is no limitations on number of accounts. The single ledgers can be created in normal mode or advanced mode. So this tally package has given two modes, normal mode and advanced mode. So first we have to decide whether we have to create the ledger account either in normal mode or in advanced mode. So how to create the ledger account in normal mode that we'll discuss first. So creation of single ledger in normal mode. Step 1. The following steps are involved. Step 1. From gateway of tally select account info. First of all from the gateway of tally select the option account info. So from account info click on, on ledger then select single ledgers. In the account info option you will get ledger. So under ledger select a single ledger then choose create. After selecting single ledger press the option create. Click the option create. This is, these are the three steps involved in creating a ledger single ledger account in normal mode. Now creation of single ledger in advanced mode. Naturally, in advanced mode, some more fields or some more additional information will be given by the tally package apart from normal mode. So the ledger creation screen is having some extra fields based on setting done for feature of the company. While making the feature of the company that is uh, F11 and F12, depending on F11 and F12, we can select what are the advanced, what are the other fields we require. In the ledger account. So if the user set the field allow advanced entries in the master F12 configuration as yes, then user can work in advanced mode. So first of all, if 
a user wants advanced mode of creation creating single ledger then first of all he has to go to f12 configuration in that configuration he has to select advanced mode yes it will ask you whether you want normal mode or advanced mode so in f12 if you select advanced mode f12 advanced mode then you can be able to have access to extra fields in the account what are the extra fields in the account allow multi currency maintain bill wise details or maintain cost centers or activate interest calculations so these extra fields you will get in the account if you set as advanced mode if you do not select advanced mode if you keep it as a normal mode then these fields will not come in the accounts that's all so this is the explanation regarding how to create single ledger in tally erp package very frequently asked in examination next one is f12 configuration f12 function key is for configuration so here f12 configuration is an option available on the screen for tally erp9 software this option is used for application centric configuration see here every company the requirements are different it is uh, the accounting system will not be same for every company the requirement of accounting information will differ from one company to another company so accordingly the user the company has to configure the company has to make the configuration of its requirement for his business so in this f12 configuration we have to give the options what we require so like uh, to change modify or configure the options of tally software package in the tally software package so many options are given now the user has to decide that these options are suitable for our requirement or not if the uh, options given by the software package are not suitable not compatible with our requirement they can modify they can change so options given by software package can be modified can be changed according to the requirement of the user this change or modification can be done in f12 configuration for example if the company accountant wants to record the purchase transaction in debit or credit then he can configure or set it by using f12 configuration example i have given an accountant want to classify all purchases into cash purchases and credit purchases so first of all he has to go to f12 configuration and make the settings there that we want the purchases of cash purchase and credit purchase separately if we select that if we configure that then definitely accordingly we'll get the reports so in order to access the f12 configuration option use uh, we need to go so how to configure from where we can make the configuration two options are available first one from gateway to tally from the screen of gateway to tally select the company info in the company info select the configuration so if you want to go directly like this gateway of tally from gateway of tally to account info from account info select the configuration press the config or click the configuration you can be able to access you can have the access of configuration or shortcut method is press f12 button for configuration instead of going in the long way just simply press f12 f12 button then definitely configuration will be open you can have access to configuration so in this video i have explained you about mouse uh, convention then keyboard convention how to create a ledger account and f12 key configuration that's it so we'll continue our discussion on other topic of this computerized accounting in the next video